when surgery is performed to remove abdominal tumors, microscopic cancer cells may be left behind. But with hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy or HIPEC, high doses of heated chemotherapy can penetrate and destroy cancer cells that remain in the abdomen after surgery. HIPEC is a heated sterilized chemotherapy solution which is delivered directly to the abdomen. This promising and innovative treatment may provide new hope to those who have complex and advanced abdominal cancers. HIPEC allows for high doses of chemotherapy, enhances and concentrates chemotherapy within the abdomen, minimizes chemotherapy exposure and side effects, improves chemotherapy absorption and susceptibility of cancer cells, HIPEC is a treatment option for people who have advanced surface spread of cancer within the abdomen, without disease involvement outside of the abdomen. HIPEC may be used to treat several abdominal cancers, including colorectal cancer, appendiceal cancer, ovarian cancer, stomach cancer, and primary peritoneal cancer. Before patients receive HIPEC treatment, doctors perform cytoreductive surgery to remove visible tumors within the abdomen. First, an incision is made into the abdominal wall. Doctors then assess the extent of disease involvement and organs affected. Cytoreductive surgery is accomplished using various surgical techniques to remove as many tumors as possible. After the tumors have been removed, the HIPEC procedure begins. First, temperature probes are placed in each side of the abdominal wall. Then, two inflow catheters are placed in the lower abdomen, and two outflow catheters are placed in the upper abdomen. The catheters are attached to tubes that connect to the perfusion machine, which warms administers and controls the temperature and flow of the chemotherapy solution. The temperature probes allow the surgical team to monitor the temperature of the solution within the abdomen. The abdomen is then temporarily sutured closed for the procedure. Saline solution is administered through the inflow catheters. The solution is warmed to the necessary temperature, 41 to 42 degrees Celsius, about the temperature of a warm bath. Next, chemotherapy is added to the solution in two doses over a 90-minute period. The pump of the perfusion machine delivers the solution into the abdomen. The solution flows back to the machine where it is warmed and re-delivered into the abdomen. The cycle continues throughout the procedure. During this time, gentle shaking is applied to the external abdomen to allow for better mixing of the solution and to help ensure it reaches and bathes all surfaces of the abdominal organs and tissues. At the end of the 90-minute treatment period, the chemotherapy solution is drained from the abdomen. Then. The abdomen is rinsed out with additional saline solution. The abdomen is then reopened and the catheters and temperature probes are removed. Finally, the abdomen is stapled shut to complete the surgery. In total, the cytoreductive surgery and high pec procedure can take 6 to 12 hours to complete. It is recommended to consult your doctor so they can determine the cancer treatment most appropriate for you.